Well, I think for comparing, I mean, most people who teach ESL are teaching it, obviously, in a non-American setting. So you can compare maybe, you know, Thanksgiving is a winter holiday. Thanksgiving is also a really family-focused holiday. So maybe in the student's own culture, there's a very family-focused holiday, or there's a holiday that happens during the cold months of winter. And maybe those two holidays can be compared for what happens, for the kind of food that's used, for who gets involved in the celebration, or the type of celebration. So that might be a good comparison activity. But again, it might be slightly higher than your A1 students, depending on how you structure it. Right, definitely. Uh, with a very simple comparison of adjectives, what's better to give to prepare for Thanksgiving? Exactly. Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is turkey better uh, or the, or chicken or yes, something? Exactly. Or this pie or that pie? Comparing. Yeah. So that's for lower level students. Correct. And for more advanced students, will probably go into say the sentence level grammar syntax, while Thanksgiving. Uh, for salary. comparison, yes, for yes, com yes. Comparison. yes. And also, you can uh, use uh, the passive voice. Mm -hmm. How would you use a passive voice? Give me so, what you're thinking of. For Thanksgiving, uh, food is cooked in advance. Uh, maybe. Problem solving. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> love problem solving tasks. I just <laughs> so love I. those. And you know, Often it can be it can be fun to design one based on a text which does not appear to have a problem in there. But I guess the real fun would be thinking about this family in the text or thinking about, okay, who's going to arrive the night before? Who's going to be staying at the house for a couple of days? Which, who can we put to share a room with whom? How many people will be sleeping on the floor and need to bring a sleeping bag? That's a problem-solving task for, 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 you know, at least B-level students, I would think, in the common European framework. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that comes to mind for me. Yeah. And, and finally, we have projects and creative tasks. Ah. I suppose in some ways, they're all kind of creative yes. tasks, it must be said, because even the listing, how are you going to do it? Is it going to be a written list? Is it going to be a list on a nice creative... Uh, poster that you're going to make. So there's a bit of creativity possible in all of them. But specifically your question like projects and creative tasks. Well, I suppose first things that come to most teachers' minds are what you do in a low resource classroom where you might just get people doing posters. And some of those could be could involve artwork and could involve some language maybe at the lower levels some sentences, some words, maybe some labels on, a, on an artwork piece. But also at the higher levels, it could also be a kind of a gallery walk of posters. Or students nowadays in more resource-rich environments, of course, they can do short videos that they, can, they want to post to YouTube or put on a Facebook page or just show to the class when it's done. Right. So there's a whole range of options there yes. for creativity and for projects. The most creative task I gave a group of students is to prepare after Thanksgiving in Boston was to do uh, uh, to prepare bring an object and we created a museum of Thanksgiving. Oh wow! So everyone brought an object. That they were that was an international group, and everyone uh -huh. brought an object um, demonstrating what Thanksgiving meant to them, yes. Americans, or a similar similar a holiday in their country. Okay. Interesting, so, yes. yeah. And then they had to describe these they objects. They had to describe the ob these objects and to say, this is why. So the task was yeah. the presenting of the right. object. Right, and then later, presenting of the object and later on they prepared the catalog. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so that was the, interesting. Depending on the time you have, the students, their creativity. And so you had a spoken piece in that case and you had a written Yes, yeah. we hope that ideas we shared will help you understand what you can do with talent-based learning and encourage you to come up with interesting, engaging, motivating and creative tasks for your students.